Welcome to a detailed look at the number 86A splitter from C.S. Osborne. This is a follow-on from their number 86 and the distinctive difference is we have this lever at the back. It is a splitter and works very much the same as the 86. However, because of this bar, as we turn it, it increases and decreases the wheel, allowing it to become a skiver. Let's fit it to the bench, have a look at this excellent little device in practice. This is no different to, certainly the front section, to the 86. The 86A comes with the adjustable handle. We have sitting on top the 6 inch hollow ground inlaid tungsten steel blade with two very smart blade screws. And I'm using an 8mm hex key, equivalent to 5 16ths in the US, I believe, to loosen those. And we can then take those screws out to have a look at it closer. Very, very sharp piece of steel, beautifully made, will last you a lifetime and again, exactly as the 86, the blade doesn't move. The centering of the roller is done with these two screws. So we can pop that out of the way and then we can have a look at the CNC machined roller within. Keep that clean. There is the likelihood if you're using a heavily waxed leather or bridal leather that this will become waxy and a film will build up distorting any skive or split that you do. So it's important to maintain a nice clean roller. And here we can see the body of cast steel made to the original design going back to the origins of C.S. Osborne to 1826. And we can see the two screws here that set the roller to the blade. The nice big screw, uh, not screw at all, the nice big spring here that allows us to open and close the gap for splitting. So we'll make sure that the roller is nice and free of any wax or debris. Pop our blade back into place and touch tight these blade screws down. Once they're in place, using the hex key to lock it in. And that's done. Now, the best skive is achieved at the apex of the roller. So we can use these two screws together, so we'll just set them so they're both touching the body in the inside here. And we will turn them both at the same time because we don't want an angle on the wheel or the roller. So we will set that so the edge of the blade is directly on the center of the roller. That's gonna give us the ability to get the perfect skive. So let's just have a quick test of that to make sure we have a good angle. We'll set our thickness, in fact we'll drop that down, we'll put a piece of leather in, we'll just pinch it and then pull. And there we have the blade in the right position, ready to split or skive. Having fitted the splitter to the bench with the two screw holes at the back and the two at the front, it is nice and solid. We can now move this lever over to the left, rising this bar up, which moves the roller at the front, increasing and decreasing the depth of the skive. The lovely thing about this, and we'll look at this in more detail, is you can pull with one hand and turn, changing the split as you go creating a lovely smooth skive. 
One thing you may find is, certainly with the 86A, is you use the lever to push the wheel away less and less. Um, you may set your depth with the bar at the back and then open it up ready for a split and that's absolutely fine but this handle is a little more convenient than you would suspect and a prime example uh, would be and many people have difficulty when we want to thin an edge so this is going to be part of an item but the edge is too thick and we want to skive this down that's done by hand but that can lead to inconsistencies. This device actually lets us um, govern the distance uh, that we want to skive out really, really well. We can see there, that's where we want to start our skive. And then we can do this incrementally. Now I've turned the bar until the wheel has started to push out, the spring's engaged because it's close enough and using both hands I'm just going to draw that towards me until we start the cut. I'm now going to increase it until the roller moves away slightly again that's going to give me a slightly thicker cut. Again move it so it moves away and continue. What I'm doing here is I'm actually skiving in a stepped fashion because I'm only skiving over about 10 mil. And what that gives us then is a nice reduction on the edge of the leather. So when we stitch this to our piece, we'll remove that. When we stitch this to our piece, we have a thinner edge. We've removed a lot of the bulk. And we can continue a little further. We can put it back in and we can take off a little more just stepping that down very nicely we can ultimately then work towards if we wish increasing that slightly bring it in and that wheels coming in I'm now going to take it even thinner and thinner still towards the end and at which point now we have a longer skive but we now have the ability to bend this over to glue it into place to give us a rolled edge and once that's glued into place the thickness throughout remains fairly consistent so that stops the end of the leather with a lovely roll makes it look very smart a lot stronger and can be achieved with the 86A which is actually an awesome idea my opinion I would say that this technique is easier with the 86A than it is with the 84. It can be done with the 84, no issue at all. But the convenience of this little lever really brings this splitter into its own. I'm going to glue this down so you can see what that looks like. So having skived this end down, glued it over, this is what we end up with. A lovely rolled end. All achievable with this. All the skives and split you would expect from CS Osborne are available on this device. But this little lever at the back, given its length, can allow you to achieve very long and very gentle tapers. And that is ideal. And one of the nice things that you can do with this is joining straps. We can set our mark, pinch it in, and then we can drive it through, increasing our taper as we go. And exactly the same for the reverse on the opposite strap. Lock it in, and then increase our taper as we go at which point both of these will clean that end up first. Both of these can then be glued together to give you a consistent tapered join, run a row of stitching down either side of that and that's as strong as you like. So we can extend straps for leads, 
reins and so on quite comfortably obviously more tension more leather but for something that just wants length and not a massive amount of tension this is an ideal way of achieving that this is a very versatile little splitter and skiver and this bar on the back makes a phenomenal amount of difference and makes life so much easier folks i hope that helps an explanation of the C.S. Osborne 86A Splitter and Skyver.